CataractCoach.com. What refractive target is best if you want great distance vision with refractive surgery? Now, let's think about this. We just had a podcast yesterday, podcast number 61 with Dr. Stephen Shalhorn, an amazing guy who has a long history of refractive surgery in lenticular basis, well, like a cataract surgery, but also keratorefractive. He started the Department of Defense program for doing keratorefractive surgery for the young people who are joining the military forces. And that's since expanded to about 20 different locations and hundreds of thousands of patients treated, maybe even a million patients treated. So extensive experience. And then looking at big data sets, what can we understand from that? And now Steve had a couple of very important insights. And the first is to think about, well, what happens with our old dogma, the old way of thinking? Now, let me scoot to the side here so we can see. The old way of thinking, the old dogma was, well, you got to aim for minus 0.5 for best distance vision. Well, why is that? Well, we didn't want to end up hyperopic, or so we thought. And also because back in the day, 20, 30 years ago, refractive predictability was much less. We used very simple methodologies. I mean, remember the SRK formula, SRK2, which is just the same formula with some fudge factors? Or what about the third generation formula, which were simple because they only used two input variables, K and axial length, in order to determine the effective lens position and therefore the owl power. So those formulas were okay, like the Hoffer Q, the Holiday One, the SRKT, T of course standing for theoretical. Those were okay. But I think when we had expanded to the fourth generation formula, started in adding in extra input variables, such as measured AC depth, that helped a lot. And now we're in the air, of course, of using machine learning and of artificial intelligence to get even better and better outcomes. So back a year, many years ago, refractive predictability was less. So if you look at the curve here, that kind of curve is the bell curve distribution of patients. And in the old dogma days, it was a very wide bell curve. So by aiming for minus a half, you had a little bit more predictability, but patient could still end up quite myopic, minus one or more, or even still a little hyperopic. Now, we've since changed that thinking because we know that patients who end up minus 0.5 may not be the happiest if they want that really precisely sharp distance vision, the far distance vision. Because we think, well, what's the refractive focal point of minus 0.5? Well, 1 divided by minus 0.5 equals 2, so 2 meters. So if you leave a patient minus 0.5, the optimal focal point is 2 meters away, which for my American friend is a little more than, let's say, 6 feet. And so that's not ideal, especially if you want true distance vision, which we consider 20 feet or beyond, or six meters or beyond. So here's the new dogma. The new dogma, the new way of thinking is, well, if you want Plano or emetropia, aim for zero, aim for Plano, and you can certainly achieve that outcome. Now, our bell curve distribution is a lot narrower now, refractive outcomes, and so we can have better predictability here. Now, we're talking mostly about monofocal lenses or just a simple keratorefractor refractor procedure here where we're not doing a presbylasic type of ablation, but rather a simple ablation. Let's say for patients who are doing monovision, you have a 50-year-old patient who's doing LASIK for monovision, or let's say you have a 60-year-old patient who's doing eye oil surgery and wants monovision. Well, now you know you really have to nail that distance target eye, and minus 0.5 is probably not going to make the patient happy. Now, of course, what's the advantage of ending up a little myopic? Ending up a little myopic means you have a little bit better near range. And so my friend Tom Oding says, well, for cataract surgery, minus one is a nice place to be. And I like that saying. And minus one truly gives kind of the best of everything. But nothing is perfect other than, of course, one meter away. So minus one is a focal point of a meter. You can certainly still see six, seven, ten meters away. It's just not sharp focus. And you can even see closer than a meter. And again, it's just not a sharp focus. So if you want like a wide range with a monofocal lens, and for most things you're okay without glasses, then that's all right. But if you want really sharp vision, you're going to have to do better. And so this is the study, take a look at this, that Steve published. And when Steve published this study, it's very interesting because it shows that what's the odds ratio for patients being satisfied? And this is looking at distance vision is what they're looking for satisfaction in. And it's in their dominant eye. So you can see here, patients really want to be Plano. Minus a quarter is not bad. But even plus a quarter, plus a half, still pretty good for distance vision. They're all very happy. But look at minus a half. 
The odds ratios are twice as high as the, that the patient will be unhappy after surgery. In fact, plus 0.75 gives a better odds ratio for happiness than minus 0.5 when your criteria is what's your best distance vision. And we've all seen that in the clinic. You have patients who are naturally hyperopic their whole lives, and they see you when they're 58 years old and they're a plus one hyper for distance, but they say, no, my distance vision is great. I love it. Think about it. So that's kind of the new dogma here. We had to think about what really makes the most sense in our modern day and age. We can't think like we did 30 years ago or 20 years ago because we don't operate like we did 20 years ago. And a refractive predictability is not what it was 20 years ago. It's much, much better. So when you want to end up here like with monovision, which is a very commonly done thing, I think these are very reasonable refractive targets, really nailing plano or even slightly plus for the distance eye and for the near eye, there's a lot more forgiveness. Ending up minus one, minus one and a quarter, minus one and a half. Anything in this range, the patients tend to be pretty happy here. And you can see that little green bracket there on the bottom. That just shows the range of kind of useful vision that the patients really want, which is from a reasonable near point to far away distance vision. So anyway, if you haven't heard the podcast, the podcast is fantastic. You have to check it out. It's podcast number 61. You can find our podcast ever. Of course, it's here on Cataract Coach on YouTube, on Apple, Amazon, Spotify, Google, YouTube. Anywhere you find your podcast, you can find the Cataract Coach podcast. I promise you'll learn a lot. We had a beautiful one-hour discussion, and it'll give you new insight that'll actually make you a better surgeon and make your patients even happier.